Now, if the question is to approximate an integral, uh, it is better to use midpoints, usually, than left or right-hand endpoints. And the reason is, well, I mean, let's just look at a brief example here. If we look at using a left-hand sum, we see that there's lots of gaps. We're undershooting it all the way along here. Whereas if we use a right-hand sum, again, we're overhanging by quite a bit. But if we use a midpoint, you know, at some point we're missing a gap, but we're overcounting, and so those two things seem to do a good job of probably canceling each other off. So it seems that midpoints will probably do a much better job than left or right-hand endpoints by themselves for a fixed number of slices. So in this case, let's just work out uh, an example using the midpoint rule. And the midpoint rule is you can approximate the integral by using a sum where you take as your xi star the midpoint of the interval. What's the midpoint of an interval? The midpoint of an interval is just the average of the endpoints. Add up the two endpoints, divide by two. So let's look at an example. Here is our curve. This is f of x equals 1 over x squared. We want to estimate the integral or approximate the integral from 1 to 5. In this case, the function is always positive, so the integral is exactly equal to the area under the curve. We want to use four slices. So let's slice it up into four pieces. The values of the endpoints of the intervals are 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. We're interested in midpoints. So the midpoint here would be 1.5. And so then we want to cap it off using that midpoint. And then the midpoint here would be 2.5. And 3.5 and 4.5. And those are the areas that we want to add up. So the integral from 1 to 5 of 1 over x squared dx is approximately the width of the rectangles times the heights of the individual rectangles where we're using the midpoint. So it would be f of 1.5 plus f of 2.5 plus f of 3.5 plus f of 4.5. And so this would be then 1 times 1 over 1.5 squared plus 1 over 2.5 squared plus 1 over 3.5 squared plus 1 over 4.5 squared. And we add up all of these values and we get that this is approximately 0 0.74. So there is our approximation of the integral using midpoints with four slices. Now one thing to note here is that the actual value, which we can't compute as of yet unless we do a, a limit of the corresponding Riemann sum, which in this case it still is a little bit more challenging. We'll see later on that we have quicker methods for doing this. What is the actual value? The actual value is, so that's the actual value of this integral, is equal to 4 fifths, or in other words, 0 0.8. And so our approximation of using just n slices and the midpoints, we got 0 0.74. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good approximation. I mean, we're, we're off by uh, 6 one hundredths. Not so bad.